Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 27th, 2020. Well, we had quite a day of price action whipsaws yesterday, and now we're looking at the market sinking lower. So pretty grim morning. Um, let's grab something to eat, grab a drink, a little snack or something let's cozy in and let's get ready for the thursday morning edition of the morning market prep so taking a look at this market it is one of those dangerous markets where we're going to have to be very very careful as traders you know over the over the last several years every time the market pulled back we um we have this rush to to jump in and buy or anticipate the bottom you know the buy the dip crowd and i have to tell you guys that buy the dip crowd is going to find this very challenging and maybe extremely dangerous now i have known over the course of my trading career a lot of folks in that buy the buy the dip crowd with just the the gambling mentality to anticipate the bounce and I've also seen a lot of those folks end up going broke. So what we have to do as traders is we have to temper that a little bit. And one thing I got to say is this is not a standard situation that the market has to deal with. We're dealing with um, actually a situation where it is beginning just now beginning to emerge here in the United States. And that's that virus. And what these impacts may be are completely uncertain and markets absolutely hate uncertainty and not only that just think about all of those mom and pop investors all of those folks in uh, mutual funds all of those folks in 401k plans you can imagine very very soon if they have not already started they're calling those mutual fund companies for redemptions they're pulling funds from the market in their 401k plans moving them over into money markets to try and protect their money and so we could actually see this this kind of fear create more downside even though the market appears to be very very oversold um, at the moment and i agree it does appear that way but we really could see this uh, continue to cascade lower because of the uncertainty of these conditions so keep that in mind um, we want to be really really careful how we approach this market today or in in the coming days um, could be weeks out before this starts to recover and we want to be very very focused on the price action when we do try to trade let's take a look at what's going on and i'll make a few more explanations as we go but as you can see pretty grim situation here on this diamonds chart we broke down into this price level here we broke through the 200 day moving average and i am confident there were a lot of people out there that were just sure we we're going to bounce off that 200 day here comes the rally get ready and we popped up and ended up whip sawing those folks out to a new low yesterday in the Dow so um, those folks that raced in um, likely got hurt yesterday and I know they were probably a lot holding on thinking oh it'll get, it'll be better tomorrow that 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 indicates you know this possible inverted hammer indicates that we could go higher well here's the differences in the market right now with this uncertainty and now we're gapping substantially lower here in the dow and looking to seek even more levels of support and the possibility that we could drop um, you know we're dropping below that little level of support right now um, right into this level right here this is a pretty substantial level of support so we'll want to watch that pretty closely if we can hold that area right there then we may uh, finally get some relief 
But keep in mind, just dropping to a level like that doesn't mean we can't fall through and continue to slide on down to the next level of support. Fear is gripping the market. Fear is dominating the price action here. So don't rush in with the idea this has to bounce. It does not have to do that. Um, we're likely going to see you know, the, uh, a lot more uh, margin calls coming in, things like that, um, as folks uh, start to deal with this big sell-off that continues to add pressure here to the market. Now, keep in mind, we can always have these big drops and then immediately whip back higher. That can be just as dangerous if you chase to the downside. So be really, really careful chasing stocks to the downside because we could get this gap down, immediately reverse back up. And the reason those kind of things happen is because we have this uncertainty. The market's grappling with what does all this mean? We don't know and we're trying to price the unknown future. And because of that, we're going to see an awful lot of volatility, which is going to make this price action very, very challenging to deal with. Okay, enough with the warnings. So right now, pretty grim situation here in the Dow. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY pulling back pretty substantially yesterday, unable to hold on to those early gains and that initial bounce. And if we take a look at some moving averages here, notice that we are dropping down into this level this morning. Now, the reason I'm pointing that out, we're dropping, this is where we're indicated to open. You have to imagine that that 200 day, once we get this close, that 200 day is gonna draw heavily on the SPY index. We could easily continue that selling this morning, drop right down into this 200, and even slide past that into this price support level right in here. Okay, so keep that in mind. We may slip lower after the open this morning. Be really, really careful of this market. Looking at the technicals, we do have some key levels of support coming. That could give us a little bit of a rest in the selling. Doesn't necessarily mean we have to bounce back up. We could just consolidate there. And that would be a nice change, uh, dropping some of the volatility out of this if we actually did that. But we can probably expect pretty high volatility. And remember, we're getting, we're moving toward a weekend here where there's just more uncertainty. So um, keep that in mind as you're thinking uh, about your trading in the coming days. Um, a lot of danger here. There's just a lot of danger here for both sides, uh, if, whether you're a bull or a bear. Let's take a look at the cues. Q's substantial fall um, in this chart, but the Q's have held up much, much better. The big techs and everything holding up much, much better. But let's keep in mind, we are now gapping uh, lower this morning here on the Q's. So looking for some price support in this chart, as you can see, we're a long ways from our 200 day moving average. That can also be a danger spot uh, being that far separated from the 200 day moving average because if a real collapse be um, starts to happen, you can see that would be a painful sell-off down to the 200. Now, I'm not suggesting that, but it certainly is possible. Let's look right in here. We have some price support right in this area that we're trying to hold. But let's keep in mind, if the SPY continues to slip below its 200-day moving average seeking support or down into that 200-day moving average, we could easily see the NASDAQ break this support and move down into this area. So lots of, lots of pain and damage coming here in the market. Be very, very careful how you deal with this. Watch for big whipsaws and intraday reversals based on any news report. Last but not least, let's take a look at IWM. IWM slipping lower here substantially and breaking down through this really important support level yesterday, just kind of smashing through there. We, we, I mean, we tried to test it as resistance and failed uh, pushing back down. So as we look for levels of support in IWM, I'm just gonna pull this line down here and you can see we're trying to catch a little bit of price support right through here, we're catching these little levels right in here. We're trying to catch that at the end of day yesterday, but now we're gapping down into this level um, in the chart, which there isn't a whole lot of support here and could suggest that we slide all the way down into here. 
So keep that in mind. We've got some nice levels of support down there, but that's substantially lower. And IWM could feel that pressure here this morning. One other place where we could catch a little support is this downtrend area right in here. We could use this downtrend as a little level of support, dropping down in here and bouncing up off of there. So pretty pretty ugly morning um, as we face this big gap down and um, the volatility could be huge because we've got um, one of our biggest days of earnings reports um, in this week and um, quite a few quite a few um, economic reports that could move us around so expect quite a little bit of volatility let's take a look at the VIX the VIX continuing to move higher fear not abating here yet in the market and this gap down this morning we could easily be reaching up in here um, in that fear measure now the good news about that is that we might be running into that point where we've just exhausted the sellers here for a period of time and we get a little bit of relief but i want to point out that we can go still higher in fear um, that was just 2018 when we moved up there. So we could still get um, uh, more fear coming into the market, um, particularly if we get some of that forced selling with mutual fund redemptions, 401k rolls, things like that, um, margin calls, we could still see more pressure to the sell side on this market. So let's be really, really careful. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is pegged at the bottom here. This would suggest we're completely oversold that we should bounce. And I would say in a normal market, I would be in a situation where I'd be looking for buys. And I'm not saying buying something right now isn't the right decision, but I will tell you that this is a very different circumstance. And as we head into the uncertainty of this weekend and we get the idea that this virus has now reached the shores of the United States and could start be starting to spread, we have some uncertainty here that the market just hates. So just because we're pegged down here in that really oversold condition, it doesn't necessarily mean that we might bounce because um, of this situation and because of the fear surrounding this situation. So kind of keep that in mind. This is pretty darn ugly and um, it's going to be a painful process to get through this, I believe. Let's take a look at the Dow here. Diamonds, or excuse me, I didn't mean to go to the Dow. Um, I wanted to, to um, jump over here and let's take a look at the economic calendar. That's where I wanted to go because the economic calendar do ha does have a few things that could move the market around this morning. We've got durable goods orders, GDP, and jobless claims all coming in here at 830 this morning. So here in a few moments, um, here in about an hour, we're going to start seeing those reports coming in and we could get some fluctuation in the market, um, some volatility in those pre-market futures as they continue to um, whip around here. Um, as you can see, we've got um, pending home sales and natural gas, and then also the Fed balance sheet um, later on today. We've got uh, uh, one Fed speaker today, but you, I think we all know the market's going to be mostly focused on what's going on with the coronavirus. Um, futures are continuing to sink. Um, we are now down about 340, 350 points in the Dow futures, continuing to gap lower here this morning. We're looking at a huge day of earnings reports, um, just a massive day of earnings reports um, today. and. I got to imagine that um, a lot of those reports are going to be pretty ignored with the market uh, bleeding the way it is right now. So although there are um, a substantial number of reports, we're going to have to be really, really careful um, in trying to trade um, any of those the price action around those. So for example, we have uh, Bud Bud reporting today. It looks like it's gapping lower. There were some announcements that even spirits, uh, alcohol is suffering some major damages because of sales declines because of the virus. Um, ADSK will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Baidu is reporting today. Keep an eye on these stocks. BBY reporting today. 
Looks like BBY trying to move just, well, no, right about, it doesn't look like we've got a report there yet. Crocs, our rubber shoemaker, going to report earnings today. Dell, going to report earnings. Um, we have um, Discovery Channel. Um, we have JCP. We have PRGO reporting uh, looks like they've gapped down on their report. SWCH is reporting today. So I'm just pointing out a few things here that um, could move the market around a little bit as they continue to report. VMW reporting today and WDay reporting today. So lots of reports and it looks like quite a few of these are gapping lower. Now I can't say if that's an earnings report or it's just the pressure that we're seeing in the market pushing them lower. So keep a close eye on these things guys. It's going to be a maybe a rough morning in the market. So with that everyone, um, if you guys could do me a favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you find these videos to be helpful, could you please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. That helps um, an awful lot in helping us continue to grow the channel. And hopefully you can see that what I do here is quite a little bit different than some of the predicting and, and hype that you might see in other places. I'm actually looking at the technicals of the charts and uh, the logical places where prices could go to um, when we take a look at that. Price is king and if we learn to follow price action we can trade just about any market. Now today um, normally what I do is I go in and I say, hey, let's take a look at a bunch of stocks here, a bunch of stocks setting up. What I'm actually going to say today, guys, is it is so dangerous right now with these big whipsaws in the market. Unless you are a very quick intraday trader, you probably want to stand aside. Now, let me, let me talk about that for a second and show you some of those things that I would look at if I were going to be thinking about getting into the market at all. I would probably shift to a shorter term chart like a 15 minute chart. I would be looking for some positive signs here to occur. So for example, I would need to see the diamonds breaking its downtrend, rallying through and finding a level of support in here, proving support before I could think about getting into that trade. Um, this 15 minute chart, you guys hear me talk about the round of bottom breakout pattern quite often. Notice that the 15 minute chart could come into a, a 15 minute round of bottom breakout. And that's where that diamonds would cross back above the 50, prove to hold it as support. And then there could be that initial rally that comes in the market. But we're going to see it on those very short term charts soon. So until I see that kind of thing, I'm not going to be really interested in buying into trades. And that's going to be in just about anything that's been in a massive sell-off. I'm going to, going to wait for downtrends to break and proof of support. Because as we saw yesterday, if we rush back into the market, here was that rush back in yesterday, and then selling came right back in and we get whipsawed out to the downside. So be very very careful make sure that you have good quality patterns that you're entering don't just be basing your trading on wild speculation this is not a time to do that um, that is a good way to just end up going broke all right so be very very careful when you're looking at charts any kind of a chart um, make sure you have good quality pro, um, patterns make sure you're planning a stop loss to protect yourself in case this market whip um, gets in the way because even really good strong defensive stocks are struggling in a market like this when you have a a, a draw drawdown like this it makes it very very difficult now on the other side of things if you want to just short trades and try to get short trades you have to remember that as we continue to draw this market lower and lower and lower and lower that there is a danger in chasing things down that we could immediately get that whip back up and put you in a very painful situation if you're trying to short. 
So that being said, anytime you wanna take a short position, what we need to be looking for is that rally back. We get that rally back and we wanna wait for that sell pattern to occur here so that we can catch these short trades. We don't wanna be chasing a short into the lows. We wanna wait for a rally back, wait for that higher place in here, that continuation, that follow of the downtrend to try and find those short trades. Don't chase short trades trades into this wild uh, dive that we're in right now in the market so guys I hope that was helpful I know uh, I'm not you know posting any charts here this morning um, as particular buys but I think it's more important at this point in time that we focus on the technicals and be really really careful here in the market try to try to shove that emotion aside and and remember everyone that cash is a position just because the market is open doesn't mean that you have to be compelled to risk your money in it in there okay so be really really careful everyone take care I want to wish you all a fantastic fantastic day i wish you all of the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early friday morning have a good one everyone